Hey, what's up everybody? BDO44 coming at you with another video. Alright, so I reported to you guys that Daniel House had re-signed with the Rockets, I believe. Uh, but that was not the case. He just signed on with the Philadelphia 76ers for two years. Uh, I think it was 8 point something, 8.2 or something of that nature uh, for two years. I think that's pretty solid for Daniel House, given the fact, that, as we said about the Philadelphia 76ers earlier, that they need to booster their bench. Um find some guys on the wing who could defend so i think daniel house could, daniel house can actually fill the need that i was saying that they need to look for so i think it's a pretty good signing um obviously they need to continue to retool but the point is to get more active bodies on your bench that coach can trust in the playoffs so that they can have more of a rotation because i think that's ultimately what hurt them they just weren't deep enough and they weren't athletic enough uh, particularly on the wing defensively so daniel house fills a need uh, and I think they're retooling pretty good. You, could, you, you consider they picked up Daniel House, they picked up um, P.J. Tucker, obviously picked up uh, DeAnthony Melton. So those are three good rotation pieces that I think Doc Rivers will use. So, yeah, good job there. Obviously, they're recreating the Rockets. <laughs> if anybody doesn't notice, they are recreating the Rockets in Philadelphia. But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because what, what Daryl Morey is doing is bringing pieces to him uh, that he can – ultimately trust and from there likely move again so um yeah that's what i expect I, as i said i don't think the philadelphia 76ers are done i still believe that they may have one or two more things to do to retool to make sure they're ready for this season and uh i think they may be in play for a big player because they do have that tobias harris contract available to try to match uh with teams that may be interested and they got their picks and they have Joel Embiid sitting there with his finger on his wrist talking about it's time let's get me something to go win and i think they're not too far away you consider tyrese maxey james harden as a facilitator joel and b pj tucker they could use one more piece there um in my opinion or if tobias harris can continue playing the way that he's been playing uh that that piece can be in place but i believe you need to turn him into multiple pieces um but we'll see what they think of that situation so Keep an eye open for them. I would not rule them out to acquire somebody big. So that's what I got to say. BDF44. Thank you all for watching.